welcome back to Fritz's Cooking Again. I'm Fritz, and uh, today, guys, I'm gonna do something a little, I guess, unorthodox, if you will. I'm gonna head up to a place that's called Papa Murphy's. Not Papa John's, like you see over here, <laughs> but uh, Papa Murphy's. And actually, guys, what they actually do is they actually prepare your pie right in front of you. Um, I know I could probably, you know, make my own pie right in front of y'all, but uh, heck, I figured, heck, I'm gonna ride up here and get me one. They're, they're not really that expensive, and by the time you, you know, get all your fixings and everything, it, it's probably gonna cost just as much. They actually have a thing they, they run on here, and it's uh, like on Fridays, they have $5 pizzas, and they'll make it right in front of you. And what you do is you actually take it home and you bake it yourself or whatever. But uh, anyway, guys, I was gonna share that with you. The, the $5 Friday, that's just uh, like one meat, a cheese, and some sauce. But uh, what I wanted to do is one of my great friends on here, Sheet Rock Girl, she wanted to see me smoke a pizza. So I went out and I had to buy myself another uh, another pizza stone. Uh, the one I had, it disintegrated, so I guess you get what you pay for. But uh, went to Walmart, got me a nice little new stone. And what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna fire up the char griller and we're going to uh, get the smoke rolling in the char griller. That we're actually gonna use the grill side of it and uh, get our stone good and heated up, I guess, and then we'll slide that, that uh, freshly uh, prepared pizza up on the, on the grill to share with y'all. So, uh, all right guys, let me head over here to Papa Murphy's and I reckon we'll get right back to you. I can't thank you all enough for watching and I certainly do appreciate it. We'll see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all. All right guys, let's go check out Papa Murphy's. Yeah, this is the first time I've tried it, and I've heard nothing but great reviews from all my friends. They're definitely good pieces, and then that smoke factor is just going to add another while. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. What kind of wood you use? I'm going to use hickory. Hickory. Yes. I got to thinking about it, man. By the time you go to the store and you get all the fixings and all that good stuff, man, uh, egg is probably more expensive to make it yourself. Yes, sir. Especially with the dough and cream and getting everything prepped up. Oh, absolutely. The dough is where it's at. Yes, sir. So I can call in advanced orders as well? Absolutely. Okay, cool. I think we might make this a tradition. Can I get a... We'll take it. What size your pizza's coming in? Once you tried our pizza, it's kind of hard to go back. Uh, look. People go back just for the convenience of our pizza. You can get it delivered to your house. Right. They're only $5 today. It's not going to lie. If you call in, do you like, prepare it that morning and then just set it back? And well, it, it just depends. Uh, like right now, we actually have two pizzas that aren't going to be done until 5 o'clock. I'm not going to start making them until about 30 minutes prior for them to come here. Oh, cool. That's fantastic, man. Alrighty. They're already pre-made, so Okay. Thank you very much, Mike. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, guys, we've got our loaded meat pizza from Papa Murphy's out. And what they said to do is, if you had it refrigerated, that you need to unrefrigerate it for 60 minutes prior to cooking it. So that's what we're doing right now. But uh, it looks really nice. Um, I love the consistency of the dough here guys. It's kind of sticky, but uh, you know, it's uh, I guess it's uh, like a yeast risen dough So it ought to be really really tasty um, guys. I had to back up and punt with the uh, The the stone that I bought the pizza stone that I got at Walmart uh, The directions weren't on it uh, You had to open up the box get it home and open up the box and it glued like the directions down to the stone itself And one of the first things it said was please do not use on a gas grill so I hopped right back in the truck, took it back up to Walmart, and I found one of these. And uh, basically it's a perforated pizza pan, and it's supposed to be non-stick. Uh, the stone was about 18, 18 to 20 bucks. This pan here was only $5. So, you know, if I do kind of get it scorched or burnt, I'll just make it for outdoor use only. 
So, uh, all right, guys, let me uh, let me get set up. We're gonna get get out there and uh, we're gonna do it on the grill, the gas grill part. And I want to go ahead and use that little uh, that little steel tray I got and uh, go ahead and get some uh, chunks of wood going in there. Some hickory. All right, boy, you ready all for right, some pizza? Huh? <laughs> guys, I had to break out my tiny spatula. This is my my small spatula. And uh, basically, I got the grill fired up and. And we got some hickory over here, and we're, we're going to let it start smoking and doing its thing, and then we'll get the pizza out here on it. All right, guys. Okay, guys, we got a little bit of smoke rolling here. What I'm actually going to do is turn off the left-hand side over here, these burners, and I'm going to cook in directly with this burner here where we've got our smoke rolling at. So let's go ahead and get our pizza up on here. Oh, yeah. Check that out, guys. Yummy. All right, y'all. All, won't All right, be guys, our little smoker box tray full of hickory is imparting uh, a little bit of uh, good hickory smoke into our pizza here. And uh, I think it's going to be mighty tasty. Um, I hope you enjoy it, Sheetrock right Girl. And uh, I wish you were down here where you could uh, partake of some of this pizza pie. All okay. right, guys, I'm going to spin the pie just a little bit. Look at that, guys. Is that not looking good in the neighborhood or what? And looky here, that hickory is just a rolling in that smoke box. Hey, Sheetrock right Girl. It, it smells wonderful out here, and I'm sure you'd enjoy this pizza. Um, I wish you could uh, come and come and visit sometime, and I'd be glad to prepare one of these for you. What you doing laying over in the sun, boy? It's hot out here. Huh? Come here. Say hey to everybody. Come here. Say hey. Say hey, guys. We're just chilling. Doing some pizza. <laughs> okay, good boy. Okay guys, they told me at uh, Papa Murphy's to actually leave this little cooking tray on there until I was about 10 minutes in, so hopefully it'll free up. That, that dough was pretty daggone sticky. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need my, my little spatula here. Okay, check that out guys. All right, now we're good to okay, go. Okay guys, I got it centered up now, so we're good to go. We're gonna let it go for another five or six minutes. You gotta watch it, it'll get away from you. All right guys, they're telling me to cook it till it's like golden brown on the bottom. I'm gonna let it go for a few more minutes. All right guys, I think we're about ready to pull this thing. Let's take a peek at it. Oh yeah, it's golden brown guys, golden brown. All right y'all, let me, let me get after this and we'll get up into the kitchen and cut you out a slice. All right guys, All right, I'll go ahead and put it on my little stone here. A piece of marble, slid right out, non-stick. That thing works great, guys. Works wonderful. Let's see. Here. All right, guys, we got the pizza pie back up to the kitchen here. And what I did was I slid it off onto my marble, and then I inverted the pan, so it's sort of like a you know like a cookie uh, cooking cooling rack or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I think it turned out pretty daggone tasty. So we'll uh, let it cool just for a few minutes. We'll slice it, and then we'll try some. All right, guys, got right, me guys. a new pizza cutter from Farberware. Looks like a handy dandy little instrument here. So let's go ahead and slide this off of here. And go ahead and get to cutting. Oh yeah, look at there, look at there. All right, Cheat Rock Girl, that's yours. <laughs> Murphy's take and bake pizza that we smoked on the grill, our char griller 50 50. And um, let's let's give it a try, guys. See what it tastes like. The crust is really nice. All right, loaded meat pie. Mmm. Oh my god, guys, it's delicious. Look at that crust. Mm. Oh, sheet right, girl. Hop on the next red eye out, girl. I'm here to tell you. This probably ain't as good as your Marooks uh, there on uh, the Jersey Shore, but it's pretty daggone good. Pretty daggone good. Mm. Oh, my goodness, God. I'm going to have to give Papa Murphy a thumbs up. 
And I want to tell Mike that works there that actually prepared my pie. I want to say thank you very much. And uh, you're right. It's one heck of a good pie. Guys, I wanted to say thank you so very much for stopping by and visiting with me this Sunday. And I can't thank you all enough for all the kind words that you always leave me and, and all the fellowship and the friendship. So I reckon I reckon we're going to holler at you all next week. All right, guys. I hope you all come back and visit. All right. Take care, y'all. Bye.